Good evening, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the online Elib gathering. Acts chapter 4 talks about life in the Christian community. In verse 32, we read, The community of believers was of one heart and mind. Nagkaisa ang damdamit isipan ng lahat ng sumasampalataya. Gawa 4.32 I am reminded of our community song here at Ilim. Di ba sa chorus kinakanta natin with one heart and one mind where Jesus is our Lord. I would like to exhort all of you even if we don't gather physically to continue to be of one heart and mind in Christ in our mission, in our vision. Patuloy tayo lumago sa ating pananampalataya at ipahayag ang mabuting balita. Let us not grow weary of doing good and helping those who are suffering. Let us bring Christ to them in whatever way that is safe for all. Sister Luli and I are one with all of you. We are in solidarity with all Elim communities in our mission to continue to spread the gospel of Jesus despite our current challenges. And so, brothers and sisters, let us continue to be of one mind and one heart in Jesus. Amen. Good evening and peace be with you, brothers and sisters. I'm Kat. And welcome to the Elim Online Gathering. Alam nyo ba na nakaka-58 gatherings na tayo since we started our Elim Online Gathering? Ang faithful ni Lord, no? Grabe, how amazing is our God. Imagine every week, whether GCQ, ECQ, MECQ, He gathers us. We're given the opportunity to praise Him, to worship Him, to give Him thanks, and to be nourished by His Word. So, ready na ba tayo to start? Let's put ourselves in His presence in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So 
Lord, we praise and we thank you for your mercy and grace. As we listen to your life-giving word tonight, open our hearts and minds. Let your touch heal us and make us whole. And allow your river of grace to flow through our gathering tonight. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. And now let us continue to be blessed as we receive God's word through our teacher of the word. A bold witness and bearer of good news, full-time servant of the Lord, Brother Mars Katan. Positive ka ba? Naku, this question has a different meaning nowadays. Hindi ba gustong-gusto natin niya maging positive? Ibig sabihin, hindi tayo nega. But uh, one year na tayo nandito sa pandemic and uh, really a lot has uh, changed. And uh, are we able to remain positive in the light of uh, what is happening in the world? Uh, ito ang mga latest updates. Ano? Just last Saturday, April 17, the statistics in the WHO dashboard, no? COVID dashboard, ay ito. Uh, 805,000 plus new cases. That's in one day. Wow! Halos kulang-kulang na lang isang milyon. And there have been 139.5 million cases already of COVID the past year. Kulang-kulang sa 3 million ang namamatay na worldwide. Wow! How about in the Philippines, ito naman. As of uh, Saturday also, April 17, uh, there have been uh, 926,000 cases. Malamang by the time you watch this or just a few days, mag-iisang milyon na tayo uh, by the end of April or way before the end of April. There are 203,000 active cases. Meron namang 706,000 na nag-recover. At meron din namang mga namatay na 15,810 uh, people. No? Uh, these are not just uh, statistics. They are, these are people. At alam naman natin na ngayon nasa kasagsagan tayo ng uh, tinatawag na second wave. And there are many hospitals that are either full or nearing their capacities already. Pag-vaccine naman ang uh, pinag-uusapan, uh, there are new strains that are emerging and uh, while vaccinations in the Philippines began just last uh, February, eh, dadalawa pa lang, AstraZeneca and Sinovac. At ngayon medyo wala na, kulang-kulang na. Uh, the rest are promises. No? And then maybe we can also notice there's no real cohesive plan uh, by the government except perhaps lockdowns, waiting for vac vaccines, Ayan, maghintay na lang tayo konting panahon pa, isang taon pa. Nako. Kung economy ang pag-uusapan, it's probably at an all-time low, maraming nawala ng uh, trabaho. And in the middle of all this, maybe sometime this year, o oh, baka nag-umpisa na last month, makakarinig na tayo ng politics entering into the picture kasi mag e na ulit in May 2022. So, paano ba tayong magiging positive. Ayan. Huwag naman tayong nega. Puro nega. Negative. So here are eight ways for us to be more positive. No? Uh, umpisa natin ito. First, stick to the truth. Ayan. Do not be quick to pass on messages. Hindi ba yan ang puso ngayon? Pasanang-pasanang messages. Verify them yourselves. Uh, will Minsan nga, kahit totoo eh. Will the message that you're passing tear down or build up? Sana yung nakaka-encourage. Sana yung nakaka-build. What videos do you watch? Learn more about the truth. Alam nyo, sabi sa John 8.44, When he tells a lie, he speaks in character because he is a liar and the father of lies. Sino yan? E di demonyo. Satan. So let's not have him as our father. Let's stick to the truth. Second, be honorable. Do you fulfill promises that you make? When you say, Sige, tatawagan kita mamaya. Tinatawagan ba talaga? Let our word be our bond. Alam nyo, sabi sa Matthew 5 verse 37, 
Let your yes mean yes and your no mean no. Anything more is from the evil one. Huh? Be honorable. Number three, be just in thought and deeds. What does that mean? Alam naman man ang justice, righteousness, ayan, no? Are you a just person or are you quick to judge others? Before forming uh, or finalizing your opinion about others, be sure you have spoken to them directly or at the very least, put yourself in their shoes. For example, ang dali nating maghusga, bakit ang daming pasaway? Hindi nagsusot ng ng mask ang bilis kumalat ng virus. Di ba? So, may katwiran tayo sa pagtatanong pero wag naman mabilis masyadong maghusga. For example, kung halimbawa, ikaw o ako ang nakatira sa isang 5 by 5 meters na bahay, isang kwarto lang, limang anak, paano kaya ang physical distancing dyan? I'm not presenting a solution, but probably medyo maghinay-hinay tayo in terms of judging others. But I am sure there is a solution. Huwag lang tayo maging nega, maging positive tayo. Sabi sa Matthew chapter 7, verse 1, Stop judging that you may not be judged. Number four, remain pure. Are we sure that we are not transmitting the virus? That we are not part of the problem? Alam nyo ba yung uh, uh, apat dapat? Tatlo sapat? Yung apat po merong ibig sabihin. A-P-A-T. Air circulation. Sabihin, ma- maaliwalas. Bukas ang bintana hanggat maaari. Uh, P, physical distancing. A, always wear shield and mask. And T, time spent with somebody else. Huwag lalampas ng 30 minutes. Yan, apat dapat. Tatlo, sapat. Ayan. Pwede nyo hanapin po sa uh, online. Marami na tayong guidelines dyan. And uh, we can read from Matthew chapter 10, verse 16. So be shrewd as serpents and simple as doves. Diba? Let us remain pure and innocent. Wag yung kung ano-ano lang. Number five. Ay, nako. Observe what is lovely. Kilala niyo ba si Sister Tabi? Nako, ang bukang bibig niyan. Lovely, lovely. Yan ang kagandahan niyan. This is dedicated to you. Notice the sunsets. Na-notice niyo ba yan? Yung maliwalas ang panahon, the clearer air. Notice the good in other people. No? Kung mabilis tayo mamintas, sana mabilis tayo makakita ng maganda sa ibang tao. Let us also be lovely ourselves. Dress well. Halimbawa, mayroong video meeting sa office, sa community, sa magkakaibigan. Eh, sana naman you feel the part also. You dress well for your video meetings. No? In uh, Matthew chapter 6, verse 26, we can read there, Look at the birds in the sky. They do not sow or reap. They gather nothing into barns. Yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not more important than they? No? Ang ganda-ganda ng creation ni Lord. Lahat yan. Mga uh, kalangitan, the environment, the birds, the animals. No? God created them and they were all good. Next, number six. Be gracious. Yan. Check our language. Magasbang ba tayo? Magsalita? Uh, ilim couples have a communications guide to resolve conflicts. No? Uh, meaning, instead of pointing at accusing finger, ipahiwatig mo ang nararamdaman. Halimbawa, instead of saying, ang kalat mo naman dito sa bahay, edi away agad. Ano? Kasi you're accusing the other. Medyo nega po yun. Paano mo sasabihin yun? Maybe lang. Ha? Maybe an example can be, paano kaya natin matutulungan ng isa't isa para maging maaliwalas at mas malini sa bahay natin? Ha? Diba? So, more positive approach. Huwag masyadong magaspang ang salita or accusatory. Number seven, pursue excellence. Ah, makakala nyo, uh, 
ah, sa bagay, tama naman. Aba, kung meron na, eh, aba nga na ang excellence conference, meron tayo niyan. But you know, the more excellent way is the way of love. No? Pag sinabing pursue excellence, pursue love. And love is not just an idea or a, f- a good feeling. Love is a verb. How much have you loved God and neighbor during this pandemic? We can read from 1 Corinthians 12.31 But I shall show you a still more excellent way. Wow! Tapos yung buong chapter 13, ayan na. It is the love chapter. And then, number eight, recognize the praiseworthy. When was the last time you praised your household members? Of course, if you're in a position to do something positive doon sa mga napuna ninyong medyo nega, abay, gawin natin. By all means, gawin natin. No? So, recognize that which is praiseworthy. Ngayon, habang nanonood kayo, batiin niyo ang isa't isa. Wow! Ang bait mo lately. Wow! You have been doing your chores. Ako, personally, I'm so grateful. I'm so uh, thankful for my family. Dito sa bahay, tulong-tulong kami. No? Uh, sa pagwawalis, sa... Ako, ako nasusunod. Ako naghuhugas ng pinggan. Ha? <laughs> May kanya-kanya kaming chores dito. And uh, uh, really, I am so thankful for uh, my family. Ngayon, uh, ano ang summary nito? Naghahanap pa kayo ng summary? Aba, madali lang po yun kung hindi nyo pa napapansin. And we can find that in Philippians chapter 4, verse 8. Let me read. Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is gracious, if there is any excellence, and if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Yan po ang summary ng uh, ating topic tonight. Let us remain positive. At bago tayo magtapos, total nandito naman tayo sa remain positive. Gusto nyo ng good news? Sikreto po. Sa bagay, hindi masyadong sikreto. Kaya lang, bago pa, mainit-init pa. Last Saturday, April 17, ay nagkaroon po ng uh, general meeting and election ang FPCC. Alam naman ninyo, member ang ilim ng Federation of Transparochial Charismatic Communities. Di ba kung naalala nyo yung mga nakaraang taon ng ating participation dyan in the bigger body of Christ dito sa Pilipinas? Uh, where uh, actually before the pandemic, we were celebrating the 30th anniversary ng FTCC. But in the bigger sense, alam nyo ba, uh, ang charismatic renewal in the Philippines, hindi ba, we had a one-year celebration, nag-umpisa last 2018 at uh, Araneta, Coliseum, no? at dyan, pinakita ni Lord, pinakilala tayo sa ating mga uh, long-lost brothers and sisters na hindi na po long-lost dahil napaka-active na ngayon ng ilim palawan. Naalala nyo yon? And then, in uh, 2019, Pentecost, doon naman tayo sa uh, El Shaddai uh, as a national Pentecost celebration uh, and 8th National uh, Charismatic Congress. Wow! At ang uh, ilim, no? we took a uh, big part in that dahil tayo po ang uh, Congress uh, President at that time and Chairman. Eh, ano yung sasabihin ko sa inyo? Ngay- na good news last Saturday, April 17 nagkaroon po ng eleksyon at ang mga miyembro ng FTCC ay iba't ibang charismatic communities no? and uh, uh, the election is for communities did you know that uh, the first coordinator pa at that time no? wala pa mga presidente the first coordinator at that time of FTCC nung uh, pinulong no? Uh, ni pinapulong ni Cardinal Sin was Brother Willie Nakar. Siya po ang kauna-unahan. Ngayon, 31 years later, ang ilim na po ang presidente ulit. 
ng FTCC. Wow! Let us pray because this is a special occasion. There is something in the Spirit that God is doing. In the middle ng lahat ng pagsusubok, kaliwat ka na na bagyo. Pero somehow, in the middle of that, tinawag at tinatawag ni Lord ang community, ang ilim. Let us pray in a special way kung saan tayo dadalhin nitong mga susunod na taon. Two-year term po yan, 2021 hanggang 2023. And uh, uh, we're all in for a big surprise. <laughs> Pagdasal din natin ang isa't isa. I officially represent uh, Ilim in uh, in these uh, meetings and so we will need the uh, community, total community effort and the wisdom of the Holy Spirit to really lead us and guide us. Hallelujah. Praise God for His Word. At maraming maraming salamat, Brother Mars, for your inspiring and spirit-filled teaching. I'm sure marami na naman ang nabless and encouraged by God's message tonight. Elam Community's vision is to spread the good news to the ends of the earth. If you want to be part of this work of evangelization, please give your tithes, love offerings, and donations to Springs Foundation Incorporated, BPI Kamuning Branch, account number 31410667756, or BDO Kamuning Branch, account number 115801 and email deposit slip to mavicargamosa at gmail.com. We pray for all those who gave their tithes and love offerings. May the Lord bless you a hundredfold for your generosity. In Jesus' name, Amen. Prayer to the Lady of Elim O oh dear Mary, Lady of Elim, sweet and pure, pray that your Son Jesus will, to innocence and holiness, restore the hearts and minds of long-lost souls. Pray that the seed of glad tidings sown in our hearts will stir us to great hope, faith, and love. Pray for the vision and intentions of community and of the church, that with the Lord's watchful care and generous provisions, they shall all be. Pray that a polluted world and all institutions will, from a powerful outpouring of the latter rain, experience the blessings of fresh living water, a renewal of the spirit, healing of our land, and of all nations. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. Blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Ilim Missions Prayer Lord, I make myself available for the ministry of missionary evangelization. On my knees or in the mission field, within our borders or on foreign soil, for a single soul, or for the multitudes. Empower me for abundant soul winning. By your Spirit, make me an instrument of your love and mercy, a witness bold and unashamed, and an inspiring bearer of the good news. Send us the laborers, technology, and resources to reach the world. Help us break barriers, overcome obstacles, and penetrate new territories that all the peoples of the earth may know that you are God and there is no other. And to all those we reach, Lord, raise them up to become your true disciples. Here I am, Lord. Send me. In Jesus' name, amen. Horatio Emperata Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus 
that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made passable by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calumsud, pray for us. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, we pray for all those who are currently sick, whether it is with COVID-19 or with other conditions, other illnesses. We pray, O Lord God, and ask you for your healing, grace, mercy, and compassion to be upon them. Sana mabilis na mapagaling lahat, is lalong-lalo na mga dwellers ng ilin. We pray for all those who have passed away. At marami, even just this past uh, two to four weeks, uh, halos lahat po sa amin ay merong uh, kaibigan, kamag-anak, kakilala na uh, either nagkasakit or namatay. We lift up their souls to you, O Lord God, including members of their families. We pray, O Lord God, for those who are in need, yung mga ngail- nangangailangan. You are Jehovah Jireh, provider. We uh, put our faith and trust and hope in you, O Lord God, that uh, you will provide. And for all our other prayers, O Lord, and petitions, you know what is in our hearts. Lord, kaya kami nagiging positive because Nandiyan kayo. You created all things and you saw that they were good. We pray, O Lord God, that you guide us this coming week so that we may be true to Philippians 4 verse 8 and keep in our minds and in our hearts whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is gracious, what, if there is any excellence, and if there is anything worthy of praise, that these things may be in our minds and in our hearts. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We have once again come to the end of our Elim Online Gathering. Thank you for joining us tonight, and see you again next week. Till then, stay safe and God bless everyone. Bye! Healing is the place you made for me